on? It's your boy D Moore here. We are here at LA Fitness. It is Sunday morning. Um, the morning is almost over. We're starting off a little late. You know, me and my wife celebrated our anniversary last night. You know, we was partying like we were still 18. <laughs> we was in the bed by 9 o'clock. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, good baby. <laughs> That's late for us, you know, but uh, anyways, we're here at the gym. I'm here with my young lion. Go ahead and say what's up. What's up? So we are here, we are going to get it in. We are doing legs and we are going to squat. We're not gonna do a conventional squat. We're going to do box squats. Now, the reason we're doing box squats are... Booty pump. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna go at my heaviest because I wanna focus on making sure I get that, uh, that explosiveness out of, the, out of the hole, which is the squat position. So that's what we'll be focusing on. And that's one of the reasons why people do box squats. They wanna get that uh, explosive development out of the hole, which is why we're doing box squats with my son. Um, he's a basketball player. He wants to improve his, uh, his um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? His hops. Yeah, he wants to improve his hops. He wants to improve his speed. Um, his dribbling skills is pretty on point. He can't shoot for nothing. So that's something somebody else got to work on with him. But um, that's one of the reasons why we're doing box squats. Another reason why we're doing box squats is just so I can um, improve his form. And another reason is a reason for myself is just to relieve tension on my knees while I'm uh, executing the box squats. I'm not, I'm not planning on going super heavy. I'll probably, on my four to fifth set, I'll probably work up to about 315 for about eight to 10 reps. Cause I wanna make sure I get that explosiveness out of the pocket, out of the hole. Um, so um, we're gonna do like a, a four to five count on the centric movement, pause on the box squat for about two to three seconds so we can get that relievement and then explode up. Um, I could do about four or five. I could probably go heavier than that on a box squat, but I know I won't get that explosiveness coming out of the hole. So I want to make sure I still got that explosiveness coming out the hole. And eventually what I want to do is work out to pushing four or five, four or 15, anything 400 or above and exploding out of the hole. Um, and that's the reason why we're doing box squats. There's numerous other reasons why people do box squats. I'll post them um, in the video as uh, you guys are watching this. And then, uh, so we're gonna go in LA Fitness, um, get everything set up. We're gonna do some uh, dynamic stretching, some warm ups, and then we're gonna start with the box squats. We'll probably do some leg presses, um, probably do some lunges. Uh, we'll probably do, uh, what else? We'll probably do some hack squats. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. So when I do my leg workouts, I break them up to, uh, I do compound movements one day a week. And then I do on my second day a week, I do isolations. So when I say uh, compound movements, I'm working my lower extremities in a whole. It's not an isolation of a specific muscle like my quads or my hamstrings. I'm doing like uh, squats. I'm doing front squats. I'm doing uh, hack squats. Um, anything that incorporates my whole legs in the movement. And then the second time that I work my legs that week, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing like leg, leg isolations. So those are me focusing on specific muscles in my legs. So it's the quads, the hamstrings. So I'm doing like leg extensions, leg curls, um, abductors, adductors, working the hips, you know, calves. I'm doing stuff like that. A lot of dynamic movements as well, functional movements you know, um, on those days as well. Well, me breaking up my workout the way I've been breaking it up, I haven't been having problems with, with recovery. Um, I haven't had any issues with DOMS. So, um, and DOMS is a, uh, what does DOMS stand for? Delayed onset muscle soreness, um, for those that don't know. So I haven't had any problems with DOMS since I've been breaking up my leg workout. So uh, that's it. Um, let's go on here before they close, cause they close at one. Oh, and another thing, so as many of you know, my wife, she's an interpreter for the deaf. She's a big supporter of inclusiveness, making sure that the deaf and hard of hearing have the same resources that, that the hearing does. So, um, which is, it's crazy. Before I, before I met my wife, um, I can't even say that I've ever noticed seeing um, or even recognizing anybody in my environment that was deaf or hard of hearing. That is if I've seen a hearing aid or if I've seen them interpreting you know, 
you know, signing to another person or something like that. But since I met my wife, I see him everywhere. Um, and I've seen situations where, you know, somebody that's deaf or hard of hearing is in a situation, they don't have an interpreter. There's no closed caption when they're watching a video in this room. So I want to make sure that, you know, you know, my videos are inclusive for everybody. So I'll be making sure that all my videos have closed caption in the video, um, regardless if it's on YouTube or not, because I know YouTube, you can actually um, click on something to add that in there, but not all platforms have that. So I'm going to make sure that my, all my videos that I post have closed caption so that that way everybody um, is included into the information that I am um, putting in these videos. All right, so um, we're about to go in here, get ready, and um, hopefully it'll be a good workout for you and me. All right, let's go. So we're gonna, first up we're gonna do, we're just gonna use the barbell, get a feel for the actual movement. This is about 45 pounds. Um, again, I don't, this is gonna be my son's uh, first time squatting with the barbell. So um, we're gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna see how he does on the first set with just the bar. And then from there we'll add weight, um, depending on how he executes the first movement, the first set. And then um, we'll just move up from there, making sure we keep good form making sure we get that nice little uh, time under tension on the eccentric movement, pause um, on the bench, and then explode up. Make sure we get that explosiveness up. So you're gonna, you're gonna push from your heel, from your feet, and explode up, all right? So here's the first set.
is what, the third set? We don't include this, the bar, but that was a warm up. This is the third set, right? All right, so this is the third set. After this, we got two more. My fourth and fifth set, my goal is to do 315. Um, I may do it on the fourth and fifth, or I may just do it on the fifth. It all depends on this third set is all, is what all that depends on. How this feels, if it feels pretty good, then I'll work up to 315 and do that on my last two sets. So we're here on the hack squat. Um, gym is about to close in about 45 minutes. Um, so I planned on doing um, four to five sets on the hack squat and leg press. We're gonna kind of compress it a little bit just to save time. So we're gonna do three sets of 15 on here with um, the same kind of weight and um, three sets of 15 on the leg press and then finish with some lunges and um, that'll be it. So we're on the leg press. So we're gonna do, we're doing one leg. We're doing um, single leg presses, making sure I'm working each side equally. Doing that ensures that my strength on each side is equal and it helps with uh, stability and performance. So a lot of times when I do leg press, this is what I do. I do single leg presses. Sometimes I will do both legs at the same time. Um, at the end of my single leg press, um, it, it all depends. Sometimes I, I feel like coming in here and just lifting some heavy stuff up and I'll do both legs and just load this thing up. But most of the time I'm doing single leg press just for that unilateral perspective of the movement. So we're gonna do three sets of 15. So we're gonna finish with some back lunges into our knee raise, um, doing that unilateral perspective again and explosiveness. So as we lunge back, pause, and then shoot up. All right, we're gonna do 10 each side for about uh, three or four sets. That was a good leg workout. Um, didn't do too much. Mostly working on, you know, quality over quantity. Making sure we got the form correct. 
you know, making sure we, mo we focus on those explosive movements. So uh, they don't shut down the gym. That's why you see the lights are off. They're probably waiting for us to leave. We're the last ones in here. That's it, man. Tomorrow I'll probably do uh, some some chest biceps. And uh, I don't know if I'll record that or not. And uh, yeah, man, we out. Love y'all.